Warda from Pakistan. Okay, I have a very severe problem. Okay, I have OCD. Plus, I have uh, I have been having like urine incontinence issue since my birth. Okay, even I mailed you. Uh, can you hear me, right? Yes, of course. Okay, so I, even I mailed you, so I couldn't um, give you the details of everything. I mean, uh, I'm. It is not only OCD. Like I just believe that if in my house everything, every single thing is like impure. And you asked me to examine like physically there is no evidence and you are not supposed to do anything. But uh, I know like since my childhood, I have been like, uh, I have contaminated a lot of places, a lot of places, even my mattresses and everything. So uh, my, my mother, like she used a wet uh, mop, okay? So she used the impurity as well. Uh, definitely it wouldn't have cleaned everything because the water was, wasn't sufficient. So she spread it every single thing. Now, now my situation is like that every time uh, somebody touches that impurity places or any other thing that uh, the impurity would have gone. So I just keep cleaning it. And sometimes people are having their moisture in their hands. So they clean it, that purity transfers. And my whole life is like, getting very congested. Okay, I will answer inshallah, Warda. They're from Pakistan. She is complaining in a long question about her OCD. And she says that everything in my house is nudges. My mom mopped a, a, an impurity. Now it's all over the place. And I can see it on the walls. I can feel that it is in people's hands. Whenever their hands are moist, then definitely it's nudges. My clothes, my body, my hair. Warda, with this trajectory, you will end up committing suicide or burning your house to the ground. Shaitan is messing with your head big time. Islam is a religion of ease. Now, is it possible that two billion Muslims living on earth, you're the only one chosen to have this care and being afraid and protective from najasa, from impurity? Are you the chosen one? Th this is unbelievable. It can't be that you're the only one among these two billion Muslims who care about their prayer, about their najasa, about their grave, about hellfire, that you are the only chosen one by whom? by shaitan. He's the one who's messing up with your head. So making difficult things, making easy things difficult is a piece of cake for him. He knows how to mess up with your mind. He knows how to make you want to believe that everything is najis. So if I were to think like you, this is najis because probably one of my grandchildren urinated on it. I'm smelling it. it. It smells good. It's perfumed. Yeah, but maybe I cannot see it. Maybe. And I always tell those I do counseling sessions with, you want to adhere to Sharia or you want to adhere to your whims and desires? Immediately, 100% of them say, we would like to adhere to the Sharia. Liars. Because at the end of the day, you say, Oh, yes, I believe what you say, Sheikh. Everything is logical. Everything is according to Sharia. But once you say but, you want to adhere to your whims and desires. You feel happy when your parents have pity on you and they're saddened by you. You feel happy when your cousins and uncles look at you and say, poor thing. She is suffering OCD. She is, she is mentally sick. You feel powered by their pity. This is why you don't want to fight it. Because it's illogical. This is not coronavirus. This is not the plague that can spread on the walls and the ceilings and everywhere out of one single drop of najasa. Are you crazy? Sharia tells us if someone urinated, a man, a grown up man urinated, all what you have to do is just pour a bucket of water the water would overwhelm the najasa, it's gone. But Sheikh, it's not gone, it's there, it's mixed, it's gone.
But you insist. Do you want to follow Sharia or your whims and desires? You're listening to shaitan. You're opening the door for a burglar to come into your home. You lock the home from inside and you say, oh, excuse me, thief, don't steal anything, please. Do you think he's not going to steal anything? You're opening your head to shaitan's whispers and you're listening and you're implementing whatever he tells you. So you want to follow Sharia or your whims and desires? You tell me.